Hey everybody, today is a really exciting video. I did a look using only Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This look is a more neutral, wearable, everyday smoky eye. This is just my go-to when I'm going to be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows. My next look will be using probably this green down here with maybe... Oh, I don't know, or the purple. I don't know. It's going to be a really bright and vibrant look, so I wanted to do one more neutral look before I did a really colorful one. So, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go in with my Peach Smoothie. This is my favorite transition shade. I'm just going to use my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to go from inner corner all the way to outer corner. Quarter. <laughs> corner and kind of just everywhere in between just making sure I have a really nice base for the rest of the shadows to go on. Next is going to be Creme Brulee. This is another, I mean, all-time favorite of mine. It's just the perfect shade. Again, I'm going to do the same thing I did with Peach Smoothie and just kind of go from inner corner to outer corner. I'm not really being too precise with this. I'm just putting it pretty much everywhere to again have a really nice base for the rest of the shadows I'm going to be putting on because we do have some darker colors coming. This one is Barcelona Beach. I love this one just to add a little bit more definition to the crease. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25 and again I go from inner corner to outer corner but I'm staying a little bit lower than I would with Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee just making sure it's a little bit more defined. Taking Tiki Hut, I'm going to use this as pretty much another transition shade. You don't need that many, but I just really wanted to use this color. I haven't used it yet, and I have to say I love it. I'm just going in for, again from inner corner to outer corner. I'm not going as heavy as I would with Creme Brulee, but yes. Now, Cocoa Bear, I'm going to go in with my MAC 230. And I'm being really careful where I'm putting this because it is a very pigmented eyeshadow. And I just want to focus it on the outer corner. So I'm just putting that color down with this brush. And then going back in with my Sigma E40, I'm just really blending out the crease. I don't want it to be too harsh anywhere. So I'm just really focusing on blending out that Cocoa Bear shade because it is a darker eyeshadow. I'm going to go back in with, what is that one? I think that's Creme Brulee. Yeah. So I'm going to go back in with Creme Brulee, and I'm actually going to be using my MAC 286. This is just a really fluffy duo fiber blending brush, and I love this for blending out shades on top of my transition shades. It's just my favorite go-to brush. And now taking Shimmer Shimmer. This is just, oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics 112 brush, and I'm putting this all from my inner corner and then pretty much all over my lid but I'm focusing it on the inner corner and then kind of fading it out to the outer corner. I really want to get this color bright but I don't want to get it all the way in my crease and then also going into my brow bone. And then taking my Sigma E40 again I'm just going to be blending all of that out. I don't want any harsh lines or anything so of course I'm just going to be blending from inner corner to outer corner. I'm going to go back in with my MAC 230. I really just want to add a little bit more definition to that crease and then blending it out once again with my Sigma E40. I don't want any harsh lines. Now I'm just going to take that same Shimmer Shimmer shade and my BH Cosmetics 112 again and just kind of give it a little bit more life. And then going back in for the last time with what is that one again? Oh my goodness, creme brulee. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the MAC 219 and just do my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of peach smoothie on the same brush just to blend out that lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX. Um, it's just their NYX retractable like black liner. It's nothing special. It is very black and very pigmented, so I do love this for the waterline and everything as well. So I'm just going to put that all over. Now I'm just going to coat my lashes with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I really don't care for this mascara, so I'm just trying to use it up by using it before I put on my falsies. So I just make sure I give my lashes a really good coat, and that way my lashes stick a little bit easier. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. 
This is my absolute favorite mascara for the lower lash line. I mean, it's just perfect. It's a really tiny brush and everything works perfect. Now I'm going to go in with my Ardell Studio FX Wispies. These aren't the Demi Wispies um, or the Glamour Wispies. They are the Studio FX line and I love them. So that is the first eye down. I am going to go ahead and fast forward through the other eye real quick just to make it a little faster. So here I just wanted to show you the difference between my falsies and just regular lashes. I really like both, but I just I can't stay away from my falsies. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for my Makeup Geek eyeshadow tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is an everyday look for me. It might be a little bit much for some people, but you can obviously tone it down, leave out a few eyeshadows, or anything like that. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I look using only... <gasps>